This program is brought to you by Emory University. Please visit us at emory.edu. Hi, I'm Justin Gallivan and I'm an associate professor in the Department of Chemistry here at Emory University. And the major focus of our lab is trying to reprogram organisms to do new tasks. Okay, so what does that mean? What kind of organisms? Well, the one that we prefer to work with is a bacterium called E. coli, which is shown right here. Now, you've heard bad things about E. coli before. Just like any species, there are some bad actors, but these guys are all good, I can assure you. Um, so why do we want to work with these bugs? Why do we want to get them to do new stuff? Well, it turns out for some single cell organisms, of which there are millions on this plate, these guys can do some fantastic things. They can make small molecules, okay, much like the chemists that are working in this room can do. Um, they make antibiotics, molecules that make us better, and they do a really, really good job of it. Okay? And we'd like to take advantage of some of those processes and get them to do some new things. Okay? These organisms not only make small molecules, they talk to one another using small molecules as their language. Okay? Um, and these organisms are smart. They can move towards things they like and away from things they don't. So these are pretty complicated behaviors, all carried out by single-celled organisms. How do they know how to do it? Well, they're actually programmed to do this, and the way that they're programmed to do these behaviors um, involves their DNA. Okay? So within their genome, there are snippets of DNA that encode proteins that allow these cells to do these high-level tasks. So what we're interested in doing is developing ways to turn on or turn off different genes in this organism in order to get them to do tasks when and how we want them to. Let's say there's a, a, um, you're in a cornfield in the Midwest. Okay? You're a farmer, you want to keep weeds out of your corn. So what do you do? Well, you spray stuff all over that cornfield to kill the weeds. And it does. But eventually those molecules tend to get in places you don't want them to get, like soils and rivers. So what we're trying to do is develop bacteria that can actually recognize those molecules, seek them out, and then ultimately destroy them. And the way that we do that is by developing uh, snippets of genes called riboswitches, which are made of RNA. RNA is a molecule that's found in you, it's found in me. Um, and RNA does a lot of fascinating things. But one of the things that it can do very, very well is that RNA can, molecules can recognize other molecules, essentially giving a bear hug to other molecules. Okay? So what we're doing in the lab is we are taking RNA molecules that can bind to other molecules. These are molecules called aptamers, and we convert them into some sort of switch, which is called a riboswitch. So when the RNA grabs onto a molecule, it does something. And what, that, what it does is it typically turns on or turns off expression of a gene in a cell. And if you can turn on and turn off expression of genes, you can really control how cells behave. And that's ultimately what ties all the work in our lab together. Cut. <laughs> Is that two minutes? Very nice. Three minutes? Four? Three and a half. All right. Oh, I got to cut it down even more. This program is brought to you by Emory University. Please visit us at emory.edu.